Hmm. What's this wall doing here in this garage? Second bay of the house. Well, this side of mine. This side of it is now considered mine. I gave it to me so I could put some stuff here, work on it inside, whatnot. So, I'm going to do an update here. Because there is a lot to be updated on. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. But... Or something could just be that that uh, spring up there anyways but the biggest thing being got one of the tractors I've gone for a while now it sat many many years before I got it um, well actually many many years before I got it and the guy I got it from only owned it for about a month. But the guy he bought it from, I don't know how long he had it, but it was before that that it was sitting. But anyways, 69 Ford 100, 10 horse cooler. Now you can tell it's missing a lot of parts. Um, it's an airplane flotation device, the belt cover, which it actually kind of, kind of relies on for stopping the tractor, because the... When you press the, press the clutch in, the belt will ride down on it, so it will disengage it. Without that, sometimes it's hard to stop. I paid 40 bucks for it. Neither of the front tires are currently holding air. They're both so dry rotted, I'm not even going to try putting a tube in them. But I have to use the rims, because all the other rims I have are not where the spindle axle goes through. It's not wide enough so the tire the wheels go back and forth when you steer and stuff. But anyways, I paid 40 bucks for it. Put a new carburetor on it for 50 bucks. A voltage regulator for 50 bucks. And a belt for 30. So not too bad. The old carburetor it sat it was it sat without the air filter on it. And the choke was so rusted I twisted the little thing off the side and it wouldn't even move. So but runs good it's it's currently cold um my throttle cable this doesn't work and my choke's missing um it doesn't really start if you use choke you kind of have to use half choke and give it a little bit of throttle so it's tricky to start with one hand especially having to turn the key and the camera so likely won't get it to start Sometimes the key switch sticks on, like now. And give it a choke and let the choke off. Runs good, drives good. Runs good. And then next, I have this. This works good. I got it mowing again. Uh, basically, this fall I mowed with it once. And it's been sitting since. It wouldn't really run good when I tried to get it to run. So I took the bowl off the carburetor a little while ago. Green gas came out. <coughs> you know, I've seen. Orange gas, yellow gas, well, clear gas, obviously. Blue gas for mixed oil. Never have I seen green gas. 
But I cleaned out the carburetor. None of it was actually in the jets, but it I can't get I can't get it start. Uh it won't it will only run on what you put down the carburetor, not off the tank, so you gonna have to figure that one out. It is getting gas to the carburetor and the bowl is filling up, so not not too sure what's up with that. Um that's snowblower. Well the Sears is running, sort of. I'll explain that. The engine working good. Uh I had had the gas tank on the hood, and I bought a new float for it, and a couple times it hydro-locked, and like it completely filled up the crankcase and everything. So that engine, it started smoking, and now I can't even get to start. I feel like it has too low of a compression, so it's kind of screwed. But the snowblower, which I had bought before I actually had it running, <laughs> um... 160 bucks uh it works everything's fine with it uh i had lost this bracket but we made one here it's supposed to look like that except for straight but we made this one and now I've, i actually wanted a motor deck more for it and a guy he says he'll trade me a 42 and 48 inch motor deck for that series for this so um he just hasn't been coming around because he's storing them and not, it doesn't make a difference to me because with the tractor not running, it doesn't make a difference to me whether I have this on it or not and it's currently at my dad's. So, it's supposed to be over in the other bay. Uh, workbench tools. Not too much more going on in here. Got a bunch of stuff there. Bunch of stuff there. And now I'll move on to part two. Which will be out back and include the trucks. Now, not visually, but I will talk about them. 